Why are you in bra? What am I supposed to say here? I don't know. New YouTube thumbnail. <laughs> Would you say you're a jealous person? No. Make your bitch ass, everything. <laughs> do not lie. Do not lie. I was gonna go into a good point. I'm gonna find someone else that will at least admit that they're jealous. Make <laughs> <laughs> your bitch ass, but you can do better than me. You can go. <laughs> That's a good way to look at it. I completely forgot. Uh, I left dough out. So I'm gonna make a pizza. Where have you got the dough? Clean. Oh, so she's making fun of me, but she's talking to her camera. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Vegan margarine. Um, some people use flour, but um, Joseph's parents taught me with butter, and that shit ain't vegan, so not today. Not today, Satan. And they just need the dough. You don't need a roller. I swear I've got like two or three vlogs on how to make pizza. Put it there. Need it a little bit. Bang. Then the tomato sauce. I just put some diced tomatoes in my blender with like all the greens I can find in the house, and uh, some sriracha because I like it spicy. And uh, then I put olive oil, and it actually was way better than putting the olive oil on and then the tomato sauce. So let's see how this goes. Spread it out evenly. Oh, and meanwhile, the oven is preheat to run at 450 to 475. Right now, this is at 450. Now, I don't even have any of the vegan cheese. I'm not going to put real cheese on it. Um, but that's when you would put that on there and, and any of your other toppings. And then when you're good to go, just throw it in. Um, I just like to take a look. I think it probably takes like 10 to 15 minutes, but uh, just keep checking underneath with like a flipper or something and see when it's all nice and brown on the bottom and everything on top nice and crispy or however you like it. I'm just putting it like this. I'm gonna like dip it in sriracha after. That's how I like it. Yeah, this isn't a very good tutorial. Today I did want to talk a little bit about jealousy. I think it's something that a lot of people feel. I still feel it here and there, but uh, for the most part I don't. And when I do, I really try and not feel that emotion. I, I don't think it's helpful for anyone. And I think realistically, for me, when I feel jealous, I feel like it's a pretty like selfish emotion I'm feeling or like self-centered because it's like all about me. And I think if you're a jealous person, um, I guess I can come up with like one tip. It may not work, but to be less jealous or not feel that emotion that much. I think it's just a reverse engineer it and see like where that's coming from so if say you have uh, say you're a guy and you got a girlfriend and she likes to go out with her friends and party and you get a little jealous you get upset you let that affect you my suggestion would be if you're unhappy feeling that emotion I mean if you're happy there being unhappy then that's I don't even know what we're talking about but if you're jealous or salty about what's happening I think the best way to think about okay I'm feeling upset right now because this person is doing this and that might be some sort of like semi rational thought but then when you're thinking that think about what you would want to happen. So you want this person to sacrifice their happiness to change your emotions. And I think as soon as I rationalize any form of jealousy in my head, uh, that's when I totally lose it because yes, sometimes you feel this emotion and you think it's justified, but I think if you were to go through that in your head and say, you know what, okay, I'm jealous, so what would I want to happen? And Usually it's the case of where okay, I'm selfish I want this person to make a sacrifice so that I'm happy or happier or less sad or more comfortable or less insecure Or whatever it is, right? I really think it stems from an insecurity And I know people say like jealousy is healthy jealousy is this I think there's a difference between jealousy and protective like if you have a wife or a husband or you know Boyfriend or girlfriend and you're protective I think that might be healthy in a way of where you know you don't want anything to happen to them but jealousy is not a problem positive emotion that is you know I'm upset that they're doing this because they want to and I don't want them to do that so therefore I'm gonna have the audacity to start a fight and say hey you know what I don't want you you're not allowed to go out with your friends or you're not allowed to do this or you're not allowed to do that also um, side note I, I know I'm ranting right now but I'm still trying to figure out what to do with this vlog and I think I really want to start showing like the interesting part of my life I'm trying to cut out all the boring stuff because who's got time for that you guys have your own boring stuff uh, and I'm just trying to feel like what would be 
good content and I think one thing um, Lucas and I were talking about and I think I've mentioned it previously in the other vlogs but to actually like show who I am my opinions my views on life uh, my perspectives you know for you guys that share the same perspective and view on things maybe you know I appeal to you or to people that may not be happy with how their worldview is or how they look at things maybe this is just another perspective for you guys to have I don't know but this is how I feel that being said if you like this sort of thing of me like kind of like diving deep into like my beliefs and all that leave a thumbs up so I know and if you think I should focus more on exciting stuff like the travel vlog style put a thumbs down so that way I know kind of like okay a little more about me or a little more about like the fun stuff of me and see what you guys think oh and that being said about the boring stuff I just got this I just got these Nespresso pods. I love that machine with all my heart. And uh, now I'm going to Costco because I ran out of spinach and I eat like a ton of spinach. I mean, you can call me Popeye, but I'm not really that strong yet. I'm not funny. I totally messed up. I should not have gone to get the coffee first. Costco is closed when I got there. So Keisha just called me. She's got us some concert tickets to this thing that we're also late for. So I'm just picking Keisha up right now. Oh, you're gonna, oh, you're gonna ask me serious questions. Yes, oh, I'm, I'm so scared. I'm not ready. You are ready. Let's get in here. Are you in here? Yeah. Are you a jealous person? What? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. yeah, kind of. Are you? Sometimes, yeah. Okay, so like... But only justifiably jealous. Like, I don't get jealous over stupid things. Okay, so that's exactly what I'm talking about in this, like, video. So okay. there's, like, some things... So my, my philosophy on being jealous is, like, if you're jealous that someone that you care about is doing something, it's only justifiable if you, like, reverse engineer it and it's not, like, out of selfishness. So, like... If you got a boyfriend, yeah. or even a, just a guy you're seeing, and you get jealous that he's doing something with a girl, uh -huh. and he does something, and then you get jealous, right? So that that's that seems justifiable at the start, but then like you gotta think about it. Okay, what does that mean? That means that I would prefer him to not do something he wants to do to make me feel better about myself, right? And at that point, that's when I kind of lose my like jealousy. Okay. But then there's other things of where it's like, okay, that guy's got a BMW, and I want a BMW. Okay, and like no, no. that's a different kind of yeah jealous. that's a different kind of that's like and that's envy that's envy okay yeah. yeah yeah so that's good so I don't really like jealous I think is kind of a toxic emotion I don't know 100 percent it is but it's like when you're but, okay we're talking about in like relationships in relationships and no even like jealousy of like friends that's that's where it's a really bad one because that's supposed to be your friend yeah you shouldn't ever get jealous of your friend that that should be something that like when they do good like you're there behind them like Yee, yeah that's my friend. <laughs> <laughs> not, not the saying, oh, uh, they want you to do good, but not better but than not them. But not better than them, yeah. <laughs> that is like the most hateful, like, But that's, that's not your friend, then. Like, yeah, that's that's, that's honestly what it boils down to, that's not your friend. Yeah. But in a situation where, like, we're in a relationship now, that's where it's sort of different, because if, if you're in a relationship with this person, they're supposed to take your feelings into consideration on honestly and it's as stupid you're not gonna agree with it but like on everything they do you have to take that person because now you're you're not just you you're but you see, that's, you're, that's the, you're, that's, you're that's, two people now but i feel like the much more like poetic or like beautiful way is it's for you to just both not have that problem and then for you both to be okay yeah like the person i care about if if she does something that like should make me jealous i feel like the sweetest thing i can do is be like i want her to be total like totally i want her to herself. be like totally happy and like do whatever she wants in this life because like you know well, yeah, time that's is limited like the, now, right? the romantic and that's the, that's the sacrifice I would like rather than making sacrifices in my daily life that I want to do so you're saying that like for both of your guys like your relationship with each other this is not making any sense so you're saying that I know what you're getting at yeah okay, I'll, I'll put it that you're so there's either yeah. two ways to do it there's either we both make sacrifices in our day-to-day -day choices that we would like to do and miss out on things mm -hmm. Or we could both sacrifice like our almost like our jealousy yeah. and let both like live the fullest possible. And I feel like which one would you choose if you could just say like, okay, we're both gonna sacrifice like our freedoms or we're both gonna like really want each other to be who we want the other person to be. Yeah, like a hundred percent. I don't know, like be ourselves a hundred percent, like be as happy as possible, like make only choices that like for our like happiness. I'm not articulating it as well as I feel like I could. Well, fuck, I'm not articulating at all. I can't. I'm <laughs> sick though, so I'm sick. <laughs> all right, we gotta go to this concert. Yeah. Figure out where it is. No, that's fine. You should... <laughs> <laughs> all right, now come, put your hand on the lens to say bye. Yeah. 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 But I think I got a couple of songs that'll get us there. I think so. So, say my.